Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for being able to do another video today on this um, Day of Atonement. All right. That's what's going on. It's the Day of Atonement. You know, uh, Friday sundown. Well, Friday, yeah, sundown to Saturday sundown. And, um, you know, before I get going, of course, I want to give double honors to the apostles that rule well. All right. And, and, um, and peace to the Akim, you know, that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Um, yeah, like I say, you know, it's the Day of Atonement, you know. It's, and it's all about, you know, um, you know, uh, purging our sins and, and being obedient and um, humiliating ourselves. You know, afflicting ourselves, afflicting our souls unto the Most High. Because we know that we're in hell, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, we're here. You know, to rehearse the righteous acts, you know, in Judges 5 and 11. But, you know, being in, in this hell, it's like we can't do shit right. You know, it's our, our righteousness is, a, is as filthy rags, you know. It's like no matter how hard we try, it's like we still fall short, you know. But um, it's beautiful that we're given this day, you know, to, you know, given this opportunity to afflict us, to afflict our souls so that we can, you know, show that, you know, that we're sincere unto the Most High and His Son. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it comes down to, you know, humility, humbling yourself. Like, the Lord appreciates that. He sees that. You know what I'm saying? Because these people out in, this, in, in the world, you know, they don't have they don't have the Most High on, the, on their mind, you know? They not, um, <laughs> they not seeking to do righteousness. You know, whether they whether they think so or not, just because they go to church, you know, that's that's not seeking righteousness, you know. But um my first script I wanna get is um Isaiah fifty eight and fifteen. For thus saith the high and lofty one, Salaki, for thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble, to revive the heart of the contrite ones. You know, um, that's what it's all about. You know, like I say, you know, the Lord appreciates that, you know, and, and he'll, he'll sup with you, you know, through his son, Yahweh Shai. But, you know, that word contrite, um, I think it means like basically, you know, you're you're sorrowful, you know, you you're regretful, you know. You you understand, you know that you fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But um, again, on this day of atonement, you know, you you're humbling yourself down, you know, you're not eating, you're not drinking, you know, you're not messing with your woman, you're not you're not giving to any pleasures of this world. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to entertain yourself in any 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 shape, form, or fashion, you know? And um, you know, that's showing sincerity, you know. You know, you sh that's showing effort, you know, and the Lord appreciates that, you know. That's what separates, you know, a man from the Lord, a potential man from the Lord from, you know, the heathen, you know. From the two thirds of our people, you know, as well as the other nation, you know, that's that's that separation, you know, because um, the scriptures say, you know, not to conform to this world. So, you know, that's it. You know, on this day of atonement, that's a, um, an act of, you know, separating ourselves. You know, um, I want to get a um, precept to that is uh, James. James 4 and 6. And it reads, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, The Most High resisteth, resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. You know, and that's what we're looking for. That's what we need. You know, we need grace as well as salvation. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we we we're not doing this thing by ourselves. It's the spirit of the the Most High and His Son Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? That that even moves us 
that gives us the um I don't know, just to give us the thought pattern to want to do right. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, the Lord winks at that, you know. Uh, I want to get, this is uh, Leviticus 26 and 20. Because, uh, <laughs> like I say, this, this is a heck of a way to show your sincerity to, to separate yourself from this world, you know, because shit, you know, you tell Jake, you know, oh, you can't eat for 24 hours. He's going to look at you like you're crazy. Like, what you mean? Like, Jake can, can barely do it without food for shit, two or three hours, let alone all day, as well as, you know, not drinking, you know, because the body needs water. So that's a heck of a affliction, you know, to go through you know, a whole day without drinking any anything. No no water, no water, no pop, no juice, tea, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it, it's it um <laughs> you know, you feel it, you know, you feel it throughout the day. I just say that, you know. But um like I said, I wanna get Leviticus. So like yeah, this is twenty six and forty. And it reads, if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I have, so like, yeah, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised uncircumcised hearts be humbled and they then accept of their punishment of their iniquity then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember and I will remember the land you know which you know is all in all it's dealing with the people you know what I'm saying like basically if we could you know confess you know to the most high that you know, that we fucked up, that we go off continually, you know what I'm saying? And we sincere, you know, in, in saying that, and we're regretful, you know, that um that you're showing that humility, you know. The Most High, he'll remember you, you know what I'm saying? He's going to remember his people because um, I, I think the scriptures say, you know, basically, um, kind of paraphrase, you know, the most high, he puts his word above his name, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for the scriptures say, his, you know, his word won't go out void. So if he said it, if he said it, he meant it, you know what I mean? You know? And that's a beautiful thing, you know? So I, I, you know, I personally, you know, I pray to be of that foe, you know, of the one third, you know? So like you are at 144,000 and one third, you know, because um, as the scriptures say, you know, we're prisoners of hope, you know, so it's like shit, you know, you should not want to, you should not want to be in this bitch, you know, you praying to get the hell out of here ASAP, you know, um, let me get second chronicles. This is Second Chronicles seven seven and fourteen. If my people which are called by my name, who are Israelites, by the way, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal, heal their land, you know, and hey, you know, yet again, you know, the day of atonement, that's us, you know, um, showing an example of that, you know, that we're humbling ourselves, we're praying to the Most High, we pray without season, you know what I'm saying, we're seeking the Most High's face, you know, through the scriptures, seeking his ways, trying to do his laws, statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, we doing all these things in hopes that, you know, the most high remember us. 
that you know when all hell breaks through you know breaks you know when shit hits the fan or whatnot and um but the most high you know here remember our ways and, and, and hopefully you know save us and this um you know this incoming you know doom that's coming to this place because you know <laughs> hey america is about to be destroyed man it's right around the fucking corner so if you haven't already, you know, you have to re-evaluate yourself and re-evaluate yourself and, you know, make sure you walk in the right path. You know what I'm saying? Because when that day of judgment is here, like, it's a wrap. And ain't no negotiating at that point. You had all the time in the world, you know, you had the grace, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, to do what you were supposed to do, to seek the Lord, you know, why he may be found. You had the time, so... When that judgment, you know, come through, you know, the door is closed at that point, you know, it ain't no cloak for your sins at that point, you know, it ain't no, it ain't shit you can have behind, you, you, you gonna be butt naked and you gonna be found out whether you were, you know, the righteous or the wicked, all right, so, um, let me get one more script, this is Matthew 18, Matthews 18 and 4. And it reads, Who whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And that's what it's all about, man. You know, no matter your age, you know what I'm saying? When you come in this truth, you gotta start all over. You know what I'm saying? You gotta bring yourself down low. And, and, you know, that's how you get built up, you know. You got to be broken down, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then as you grow, you know, as you, you know, as you regrow, you know, you'll get built up in the spirit. You know what I'm saying. You got, you have to understand and realize, like, like I don't know shit. You know, I got to start over. I got to start from scratch. You know, I got to start from the drum board, as they say. So. That's what we're doing, you know. We humble ourselves as a little child in hopes that we're making in the kingdom of heaven, you know. So, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shout out one.